Hello, it's Joe and welcome to my farm and welcome to my pond. Uh, talked about this aerator earlier this summer. Uh, this machine has been running non-stop since uh, June or so. And uh, I'm getting ready to think about winter. It's late November right now. And so I live in a location where we can see up to 180 inches of snow. Uh, a lot of times two or three feet of snow in a night. And I'm thinking, what do I have to do to make sure that this machine can continue to run all winter long? So one of the maintenance pieces with an aerator is making sure that your air filter, air cleaner, is clean. Uh, it's located in a spot that doesn't get too dusty. Uh, however, we need to take a look at that. So let's pull the cover off. It's not sure how much of this humming will get picked up. However, there is a little bit of humming coming from this motor that you will hear from time to time. So one of the things that I need to do is I need to make sure this is nice and clean. So I'm going to go get what I need to get to get this clean and put back together. So with blew that out, looks pretty clean. go. My next concern is making sure that this does not become a, an environment in which mice come to live. Uh, and, and like many things, it's near impossible to keep uh, mice out. However, with the warmth that's here, I'm sure these holes would make a wonderful entrance and this would be a great little home for a mouse or another critter so so now i'm probably going to get some hate for this but we're just going to great stuff these um, and why i say getting some hate because well you should come up with a better solution probably i should however a lot of times it's just slow in the the critter down you know there we go other things I want to look into before I I put this cover back on is making sure that my my vents I can see the light of day through them so the last thing that I'm really concerned about is how do I protect this from freezing rain covering it and suffocating it or how do I keep from getting lots and lots of snow covering it and maybe I'm overthinking it, but can I come up with a solution? There's my solution, huh? Some of you guys that are, uh, sun's starting to drop there. Some of you guys that are in the uh, small farm homesteading world knows what we're looking at here. And this is my old chicken tractor. And uh, this thing will have chickens in it, you know, five, six weeks out of the year and the rest of the time it just sits around, it's kind of in the way. And I think that this is a pretty reasonable solution. It'll uh, shed any icy rains, it'll shed a lot of the snow, and it's kind of out of the way. And so, uh that's it that's how i'm winterizing getting ready for a uh, winter i could still access it through my door to check the filter 
Uh, if there is a lot of snow, I can still get in there and kind of brush it away. Uh, and I've got this little bit of shrub here to knock down wind. Um, look out in the pond. You know, most of my water meal is kind of at that dormant stage. Uh, duckweed, like I said, duckweed, no more. Uh, this water meal, I'm sure it's going to take lots of, it's going to take a lot of herbicide to get rid of that permanently. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, thanks for joining me, and that's what I'm doing to, that's what I'm doing to prepare my aerator for winter. So. Thanks for joining me. Bye now.